Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a slug detector. What is a slug detector? A slug detector is a device which will detect slugs outside in your garden so that it will send you a push notification and you can go outside, collect them and carry them somewhere else so that they won't eat up your vegetables. Here you can see how it actually works. I have built up a prototype and I've sticked it into one of the plant pots in my house just for a demo. I've also placed a printed slug in front of the camera. Now the whole housing, including the camera, can turn right and left in small steps. At each step it takes a picture of the environment and in case a slug has been detected in the picture, it sends a push notification to my smartphone and smartwatch. We need a Raspberry Pi Zero W with Raspbian as an operating system installed. Also, you need an active Home Assistant installation. I don't want to go in detail how this works because there are already numerous tutorials out there. Also, you need a local machine or a cloud service where you can deploy your TensorFlow model. In this video, I will focus on the local solution where I will use TensorFlow serving to serve the model locally. You need a stepper motor and also a ULN2003 driver board. Ideally, you just buy this together. You need a shaft and a shaft coupling in order to attach the shaft to the stepper motor. You also need a camera, which is compatible with the Raspberry Pi Zero W. You can use a standard Raspberry Pi camera. Also, you can use a Raspberry Pi night vision camera if you want to enable night vision. Or you can use any other camera that is compatible with the Raspberry Pi. As the device will be placed outside in the garden, we need a waterproof housing. Also, we need some transparent window or a transparent lid so that the camera can look outside. For programming everything and also training the neural net, it would be helpful to have a separate desktop computer machine with Python 3 installed, including two Python notebooks. The very first step is to develop, train and test the neural net for slug detection. This is the heart of the slug detector. So it is very important to have a very well-trained neural net. Details as well as a Jupyter notebook can soon be found on my Medium page. Step two is to set up TensorFlow serving on a local machine or as a cloud service. TensorFlow serving will host your model and provide a REST API to run inference on it. Step three is to drill a hole in the bottom of the housing and then mount the stepper motor so that the motor shaft will face outwards. You can then attach the longer shaft with the shaft coupling to the housing. Here you can see how everything is wired. We have our Raspberry Pi Zero W down there. We have our camera that's attached here. I have a camera which also comes with a night vision light. Then we also have a power cord. This is a USB cord and it just brings in 5 volts power for the Raspberry Pi and the whole system. So what you can see here is just, okay it's not very professionally, it's a prototype, but you can see the cable comes in here and it's split up. The red wire goes into this one here and um, the black one goes into this one. And then, okay, black gets white and red gets black. So this is my power cord and it goes into five volts in here and ground here. And then on the other side, we have our ULN2003 driver for the stepper motor. So you can see this little board which comes with the stepper motor is wired to the stepper motor on the one side 
And on the other side, we have the data cables, which are plugged into GPIOs on the Raspberry Pi. And we also have power. You can see this here, five to 12 volts, minus and plus. This cable goes here and also goes to the Raspberry Pi. So it provides the power supply to this board as well. That's it. Step five is to create a Python script that brings everything together. The Python script will run the stepper motor to turn the housing left and right, take a picture from the camera, run inference on this picture by sending it to the REST API of TensorFlow Serving, and in case a slug has been detected in the picture, send the picture to Home Assistant and create an event in Home Assistant so that Home Assistant can send a push notification to the user. The last step is performed directly in Home Assistant. We will create an automation which will send a push notification to the user in case a slug has been detected and this push notification will also include the picture taken from the slug. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial.